Hi, dear students, how are you? I hope you're fine. Today, we're going to talk about a new lesson. It's called percent of increase or decrease. So let's start. We have here a rule we have to follow. What's the percent of change? Change means that I'm going to increase or decrease because this is the change. The percent of change here, guys, it's in the amount of the amount of increase or decrease. Okay all over the original amount remember if the original amount here okay increased so this is a change of increase so if you have here the new amount is greater than here is greater than again the new amount is greater than new amount is greater than the original one so it's what so it's increase if you have the new amount is less than is less than the original so it's what it's decrease okay find percent of increase what's the percent of increase from 8 to 13 so what do you think from 8 so this is the original when I say from so this is my original one what happened to the original it increased so I have the rule the percent here is equal to the amount of increase what's the amount of increase it's 13 minus 18 okay this is the amount of increase by how much I increased okay guys all over the original the original the word comes the number comes after from so we got here 13 minus 8 gives me 5 all over 8 okay guys so I got here what okay I got here 5 over 8. When I say 5 over 8, I want to convert the, this fraction into what? Into here percentage. We have here 8 in the denominator. How can I convert 8 into number multiples of 10? Why? Because I need here to have a percentage. I can't say 8 times anything doesn't give me a whole 100. So I remembered that we have taken before. We have taken before uh, here a table 5 times 2 equal 10 and 25 times 4 gives me 100 125 times 8 gives me what gives me 1000 remember that so 8 times 125 gives me what gives me 1000 1000 here okay I will clear and do it again here 5 over what over 8 so I have here to multiply by what gives me 1000 as I told you we have okay we have studied this before it's times 125 what I do in the denominator I do in the numerator times 125 gives you what 625 okay so I need percent percent means over 100 so I want to get rid of just one zero so I will remove this and move here just one so we have here 62 point here 5 percent means here percent this one per 100 means percent easy one I think it's very easy let's have another kind of questions okay finding a percent of decrease this time with the percent of decrease from 49 to 35 so 49 to 35 so from it means the original okay what happens to the original okay it here from 49 to 35 it decreased no it increased no it decreased it decreased so we have here the amount of decrease over the original amount okay so we got here 49 minus what minus 35 okay guys all over what the original which is 49 okay after finding this the difference between 49 and 35 it got 14 over 49 okay simplify means divide it, divide by 7 divide by 7 so you got 2 over 7 okay so after that I want to uh, have this as uh, as well as a percentage how can I get it we can here do very uh, simple thing 2 divided 7 2 divided 7 so after here dividing 2 divided here 7 it will give you 0 0.286 so we have here 0 0.286 over what over what guys I needed to be to be over percent 
okay so percent means what so i'm going to so this is the same as this one guys 0 0.286 it's the same as 286 over how many zeros one two three over one thousand so i need it to be over just 100 so i will take one and it will be 28.6 Let's have another kind of questions using a perfect a percent of change. Packaging a taco company puts 24, 24 taco shells in every box. Recently, the company expanded the box and put 25 percent more shells in each box. How many shells are in are in every box now? So find here what's the question, guys he expanded expanded means to increase so i'm going to find the amount of increase of 25 percent of what of 24 so 25 percent of 24 we know that 25 percent is 0 0.25 now it's very easy times what times 24 so it will give you six okay so we have here the amount of increase is six he asks me what how many shells are in every box now so i'm going to add the increase which is six to the original amount which is 24 so it will give you 30. so every box now has 30 taco shells okay guys is it easy and here you are guys some uh, practices from your practice book and the end answers i need you to answer your practice book on what we have taken on the lesson uh, and check your end answer and if you have any problem please send me on the scl hope you're fine thank you bye bye